Good morning YouTube. Time to work on this uh, power shelf. So I've got my 4 cell 18650 holder here and one thing I need to do is bend these solder terminals over at a 90 degree angle. So what I find works best for that is a fine nose needle nose pliers. So you want to get something that fits up into that uh, little notch there where the connector is. That way you can get a nice flush bend. And one thing you want to make sure is sometimes these uh, spring terminals can pop up a little bit. Make sure it's down all the way before you bend it. Because otherwise you're going to have to unbend it, push it all the way down, and then rebend it. And you risk breaking the tab off. So I've got to do the other side of this. I've got a couple more to bend up. And then this is where I've... Uh, joined three holders together and then I've cut a nickel strip here. I've gone just a little bit beyond the end of the holders there and then I solder that to the uh, 12 solder tabs here and then I leave a little bit on the end. This is where I'm going to hook up my wires. And then I do another one and then I take these two here what I'm going to do is I flip them over to add my fuse wires. So th this is the negative terminal that has the strip soldered on. I found a, about a one inch spacer works pretty good for this. So I, I put a one inch spacer in there and then I get my fuse wire here which is I use some 30 gauge tinned copper wire. This is tinned copper so it's all ready to solder and then the way I'm putting it on as I go from this point over here and then back I make a loop here solder it solder it and then I solder the loop to the strip cut the wire move over to the third terminal make a loop solder it here and then solder it to the strip cut it and that way I'm doing three solder joints for every two battery terminals and I'll show you what that looks like when I get done here. So I've got my uh, wires in here. I started out an inch apart. And then what I've done is gone in with a stick here just to push those down, get a bit of a curve to those wires. And then that way I can push these together when I finally mount them on a board. So they'll, they'll of course be mounted this way. And I still have to add the uh, fuse wire to the positive terminal over here. And then at the end, when I get them on the board, I'll have a terminal strip up here. And I'm going to wire all of the intercell connections to the terminal strip. So I'm going to use five terminal positions here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll have three extra positions left over for the BMS board if I decide to use one. If I'm using the BMS, I can wire in to these three terminals. If I'm just going directly to the battery, I can just wire into the beginning and end terminal. And then I can hook my balance cable in here in between. So that's that. And then just to show you a sneak peek here. This will be my board. I've got a large uh, chipboard here, about a 12 inch wide, 300 millimeters, just a scrap I had. And I've cut it about three feet long. May not need all of that length, but I figured I would get it cut and painted. And one of the reasons I'm painting it is so that the there's a white background and makes it a lot easier to see those fuse wires to inspect them see if I've burned any out or if any have broken. That will be my setup. So I'm going to have two 4S packs. So each one will have its own terminal strip. So there'll be two 4S packs on that board but that allows me the option in the future if I go to a 24 volt system and a 7S pack I can combine four on this side plus three of the four on the other side and make myself a 7S pack. So that way I've got some future uh, 
expandability and I haven't locked myself into doing a 4S pack. Uh, one thing to notice is I'm not going for the really tight packing on these. My thinking on that is I was a little bit concerned about running the fuse wires between these spring terminals because they're really fine wires and I was a bit concerned that with repeated installation and removal of batteries you might fatigue those solder joints and have those fuse wires breaking. So my idea was to put the fuse wires down below, kind of bury them in between the two packs where they're not going to be prone to disturbance. What I give up is I'm going to have about a half inch slot between battery packs. So I'm going to lose a little bit of real estate by not packing them in so close but I'm hoping I gain a little bit in terms of reliability. So that's the uh, plan. I guess the next video I'll try to get all of these finished and we'll start screwing them onto the board and hook up all the wires to the terminal strips. See if we can get this thing up and running. So until then, uh, if you have any questions, uh, put that in the comment section below. Yeah, and in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel for updates. There should be a link right down there. And as always, thanks for watching.